Chatbots, when robots replace customer service badly. 2016, every company suddenly had a chatbot. Your bank, your pizza place, even your dentist. They promised instant answers to all your questions. No more waiting on hold. They couldn't answer anything. I want to order pizza. Sorry, I don't understand. Pizza, pepperoni, pizza. Did you mean pet theory about pizza? Billions spent on bots made customers angrier than before. Companies fired their human support teams first, thinking AI could handle it. It couldn't. Customers got stuck in loops with bots that didn't understand them. Companies realized broken robots are worse than actual humans. The bots got shut down quietly, but we learned nothing and moved on to the next AI hype. IBM Watson, the game show winner that failed at medicine. IBM Watson won at Jeopardy in 2011. It beat the smartest humans at trivia. IBM thought, if it's good at trivia, it can cure cancer. That's not how medicine works, but okay. Hospitals paid millions. Doctors were told to trust Watson's recommendations. The future of healthcare was here. Then they used it. Watson's advice was often wrong, sometimes dangerously wrong. It recommended treatments that contradicted medical guidelines. Doctors started ignoring it. Hospitals quietly stopped using it. IBM stopped talking about it. Billions disappeared into a black hole. Then IBM moved on to the next big AI idea like nothing happened. Classic. Self-driving cars. Always coming, never here. Since 2014, companies promise self-driving cars are just five years away. It's been over 10 years. We're still driving ourselves like cavemen. Tesla sells full self-driving for $15,000. You still have to fully drive the car yourself. That's expensive cruise control, not self-driving. Waymo has robot taxis, but only in a few cities with perfect weather. Uber gave up after their car killed a pedestrian. Billions invested. No real results. Every year the timeline extends. Five more years. Teaching computers to drive in real traffic with unpredictable humans is really hard. The promise continues. Any day now. AI art. Everyone's an artist now. Sort of. 2022. AI art tools dropped. Midjourney, Dolly, Stable Diffusion. Type what you want, get a picture, instantly. Dragon fighting a wizard in space. Boom. Instant art. No drawing skills needed. Everyone went crazy. AI art was everywhere. People quit their jobs to become AI artists. Some won art contests with AI images causing controversies. Traditional artists panicked. Then the problems appeared. All the art looked the same. That AI aesthetic got boring fast. You can spot it from a mile away. Weird smoothness, uncanny lighting, and somehow every person has six fingers. Copyright wars started. Artists sued. Platforms banned AI art. The hype died quick. Turns out, creativity involves more than typing a prompt. Also, those extra fingers were creepy. The Metaverse. Zuckerberg's massive fail. Facebook changed its name to Meta and bet everything on the Metaverse. Visual worlds where we'd all hang out and work. AI would power everything. The future of the internet was virtual reality. They spent over $30 billion. $30 billion. The demos looked terrible. PlayStation 2 graphics. The avatars didn't have legs for a year, just floating torsos. Nobody wanted it. Zuckerberg kept insisting this was the future while wearing VR in empty virtual worlds. The rest of us watched, confused, as billions burned. Meta keeps saying it's coming while firing thousands of workers. Billions burned. Nobody asked for this. The bubble is deflating, but they won't admit that it failed. Too much ego on the line. AI Crypto Trading Bots The Get Rich Quick Scam AI bots that trade crypto while you sleep. Wake up rich. That was the promise. Advanced algorithms that predict market movements. Machine learning smarter than humans. Thousands bought them. Influencers promoted them. I made $10,000 in a week. The pitch. If AI can beat humans at chess, obviously it can beat the crypto market. Reality. People lost money. The bots didn't work. Some were scams that stole your crypto. Others were incompetent, buying high and selling low. 
If AI can beat crypto markets consistently, why sell it for 99 bucks a month? They wouldn't. They'd use it themselves and become billionaires. When crypto crashed, all these smart bots predicted nothing. People lost their savings. AI tutors. Robots can't replace teachers. AI tutors were supposed to replace teachers completely. Every kid gets a personal robot tutor that knows exactly how they learn. Adapts to their pace. Schools won't need human teachers anymore. Companies raised millions. Schools tested it. Parents got excited about personalized education. Then reality hit. Kids don't want to learn from robots. They need human connection. They need someone who cares. They ask weird questions AI can't handle. They get distracted and need motivation. Teachers kept their jobs. AI tutors became just another tool, not a replacement. Educating humans requires other humans. AI hiring tools. When robots learn to be racist. AI hiring tools promised fair recruiting. No human bias, just objective computer analysis. Feed it resumes, it picks the best candidates based on qualifications. Amazon built one to revolutionize hiring. They spent years developing it. Big problem. It was super biased. It learned from Amazon's past hiring data, so it learned all from their existing biases. It downgraded resumes mentioning women's colleges or women's chess club. It preferred all male schools. Amazon deleted it in embarrassment. Other companies quietly stopped using their AI recruiters. The bubble burst. Computers don't remove bias. They just automate it faster. Alexa and Siri. Smart speakers that aren't that smart. Alexa, Siri, Google Home. AI assistants in your house. Just talk to control everything. Lights, music, temperature, shopping. The future was listening. Everyone bought them. Millions sold. People set them up excitedly. Used them for a week, then stopped. They don't work well. Alexa, play my workout playlist. Playing my work about playlist on Amazon Music. No, my workout playlist. I don't understand. Work out. W-O-R-K-O-U-T. Here's a workout routine from the web. We've all been there. The promise was Jarvis from Iron Man. The reality is a speaker that misunderstands you constantly and mostly tells you the weather. Expensive kitchen timers. AI everything. When every product claims to have AI. Right now, everything has AI. Your toothbrush is AI powered. Your water bottle has AI. Your shoes are AI. Companies add AI power to any product to sound innovative and charge more. Most isn't even real AI, just normal software with a fancy label. A thermostat that learns your schedule? That's not AI, that's a timer. But we call it AI and investors throw money at you. Every startup is an AI company now. Every app has AI features. The word has lost all meaning. It's just marketing. But it works because nobody wants to miss the AI revolution. This is the bubble we're living in. Everyone knows it's silly, but nobody wants to miss out. Every product gets AI slapped on it. This bubble will pop eventually. They always do. What we learned. 10 AI bubbles. Some exploded. Some are deflating. Some we're living in. The pattern never changes. Big promises. Tons of money. Disappointing results. Everyone moves on. AI is real and useful, but every few years we convince ourselves it'll change everything overnight. It never does. Real progress is slow and boring. The actual bubble isn't the technology. It's us believing this time will be different. It won't be, but we'll keep falling for it anyways. See you at the next bubble. It's probably already forming.